Hey gorgeous. Okay, so I'm doing my quick outfit of the day. Why do we always say quick and it's never quick, right? I'm just gonna do a long outfit of the day. <laughs> um, so we're headed out to hang out with some of our friends. Alina is back there and we accidentally are all matching. Well, Irfan, me, and Alina are all wearing blue. I'm not sure what the boys are wearing yet. Um, but this is that sari skirt that you guys know I'm obsessed with. Every year I get one style of skirt that I become obsessed with and then I'll just buy it in every color and just keep wearing it. And in the past couple of years, I haven't found anything that I really, really loved. And I had worn out the ones from previous year. But this year I found this one, which may be like my favorite skirt on the face of the planet. Like I just love it. It's just so, it makes me feel like a goddess. It gets a lot of attention surprisingly too. So um, that's what I have on in the, this is in the royal blue, even though I don't think this is royal blue. I'll link it below. Top is a really old crop top that I've had for ages from Forever 21. I'll link a similar one that I recently bought from Amazon. And then I'm wearing um, my rock studs. It is uh, raining right now, but uh, these have been treated, so they should be good. Alina has this gorgeous dress on. We're going to do a French braid for her uh, in a moment. And then I just need to switch out of my bag. I'm thinking of doing this one um because i don't know this is just one of those kind of leathers where i don't mind if it gets wet but i don't think i want all, any of my other bags to get wet so this one's the i'm just gonna switch into this and hi uni uni hi. wants to say hi hi hello gorgeous so i am finally doing my skincare routine i know many of you guys have been asking for an updated skincare routine from me so one of the reasons that I haven't been posting one is because I've never really had a good skincare routine ever before. I turned 40 last year and I decided, okay, probably time for me to get a skincare routine going. Um, so let me share with you the products that I use and then a little bit about kind of what I've been doing prior to this that I feel has um, been really, really delicious and just yummy for my skin and that's why i've never really needed a skincare routine beyond that but having said this the skincare routine that i found now i've been doing for about six to eight weeks and i'm obsessed with it it has made such a drastic improvement i find in my skin granted i've always had pretty decent skin i've been very happy with my skin for most of my life um, but anyways let me just show you guys the products so most of them are from this one particular brand and so yeah, it, it is what it is. This isn't sponsored video or anything like that, uh, but I have posted links to all of the items that I'm showing you guys in the description box. They are affiliate links, so I would appreciate it if you are gonna get these things, if you would support my work and my channel. So the first thing I wanna share with you is Paula's Choice Optimal Re Results Hydrating Cleanser. I wanted to find a cleanser that removes makeup really, really well and also um, is hydrating and not overly drying on my face. And I went through a whole bunch of different ones, but I absolutely love this one. So I highly recommend it. Um, at night, I will often use this twice if I find that I was wearing maybe a little bit more eye makeup that day and I just need a little bit assistance in removing it. Um, so yeah, absolutely loving this. And one of the things that I've done for all of my life since I started wearing makeup and even prior to that is that I have never ever ever gone to bed with without washing my face properly. So while I never really had a proper skincare routine, that is something that I've always done since I was a little girl. So I think in my entire life, I only went to sleep with makeup on the night that I delivered my second child. I had a little bit of makeup on and you know, you know that was all the days. So. Yes, I'm pretty good about washing my face. So if you are looking for a cleanser that is going to take away, like remove your makeup, but not completely strip your skin, this is a really good one. Um, she has some other ones too. So if this one doesn't suit you, then she's got some other flavors. I will go ahead and link this one in the description box. Then I um, use this toner. I've never been big on toners. I tried using a witch hazel kind of thing as a toner, which was not good. It made my face 
so oily oh my goodness i was like what is going on so um this one is really good i actually have two of her toners i've got her um the purple one and this teal one i personally like the pore reducing one better this one is really good if you have dry skin but it again it made my skin feel heavy i don't like a lot of makeup on my face i don't like the feeling of anything on my face that's probably why i've been wearing bare minerals makeup for like 20 years because i just don't like the look of foundation on my face at all um so bare minerals is the only one works when i was using this one and then putting bare minerals it felt like foundation so then I switched to this one and I absolutely love it. So if you have dry skin, this is a better one for you. And other, if you have like any pore issues, which I was having because of the oily skin thing, <laughs> this is a good one. All right. The other thing I've been using is this. At night, I use Paula's Choice Clinical Retinol Treatment. Everything that I'm using is like dermatologist approved or, or like skin skin doctor specialist approved this is probably the only thing that i'm kind of going against the advice of uh my doctor at least my dermatologist she thought that the one percent retinol was a little too high for most people and it probably is i personally feel like my skin can completely handle it and i've been really liking the way that this has been working for me so i'm going to continue using it um if you, this doesn't work for you, Paula's Choice also has a 0.3% retinol that can be really good as well. Um, but this has been really, really great for my skin. My skin is not like overly sensitive. Um, I mean, it is to some things, I guess, but not to retinol. So I'm using this one. All right, let's see what else I want to share you, with you guys. So I use this probably about three or four nights a week. And then the nights that I'm not using the retinol, I use this. And this is freaking awesome. Like I love this product. This and one other product, are these are like my new holy grails. So this is uh, a 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. If you don't know what these are, you know, watch some of those skincare routine videos on YouTube and stuff and you'll quickly learn what all of this stuff is. I just put a little bit on a cotton pad and like just do my face with this on the nights that I'm not using the retinol. So you don't want to mix these two together as far as I've heard. I'm not a skin care specialist at all, but those really work good. Okay, so let me keep going. Let me do, okay. I have some things, but I feel like I should be showing you the order. So in the morning when I wake up, I will cleanse my face. I don't use a toner in the morning. When I use a toner in the morning and then put my makeup on, I don't like the way my makeup feels. I'm really frickle with the whole foundation feeling thing. So no toner in the morning. So I just cleanse my face. And then the second thing I do is I use this, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, it's linked below, but it's a vitamin C brightening skin corrector. And this is amazing. It's a really, really great uh, vitamin C uh, serum. And it is actually, De uh, like dermatologist recommended and I really like it so then I just put this on and then um, the next step after that in the morning is then I just put if I'm gonna go out then I put the yo uh, this is like Paula's Choice SPF and it's a SPF 50 okay um, if I'm not going to be going out and I forgot to bring it but um, I just used the CeraVe uh, cleanser or i'm sorry moisturizer I, i'm gonna link it in the description box but it's just the basic like CeraVe moisturizer and then i'll just put my makeup on so my morning routine is very simple i did try using some of these products during the day and i just don't like the way that my face feels then at night i will cleanse my face sometimes twice depending on how much makeup i have um, on my eyes then i will use the pore cleansing, pore reducing toner. Then I'll use one or the other. I'll either do the retinol or this. And then I will do the um, moisturizer. And then that's it, okay? So same moisturizer that I use during the day is what I use during the night. And that moisturizer is by CeraVe. I think that's how it's pronounced. I've linked it below. 
So a couple outliers. This is an amazing uh, rinse off treatment. It's a 25% AHA plus 2% BAH. I do this every Saturday. You put this on for 10, after you cleanse your face, you put it on for 10 minutes, put a timer on and then you wash it off and you will feel like you have brand new skin. Like someone came off and took your skin off and gave you brand new skin. Obviously test the small area first. I'm not overly sensitive to things like this. So this has been working really, really, really great for me. In fact, I'm considering trying it on like other body parts as well. So I might try it on my my arms. I do have like um, a lot of stretch marks and stuff from all of my weight loss. So I might try this on my arms. Now, speaking of body, I have three things for the body that I recent, this I've only been using for two weeks and I haven't seen any noticeable results, but because I love Paula's Choice so much for everything else, I was like, let's just give it a try. So I've been using, this is the Skin Revealing Body Lotion 10% AHA. And then the Weightless Body Treatment 2% BAH. And then this is a body retinol. I don't use them all at once. I've just kind of been experimenting using them on different days and then waiting a little bit and then applying the full CeraVe like moisturizer all over my body. And I also use almond oil, uh, sweet almond oil on my legs. Um, to get that like really smooth um, skin and moisturize and everything. I'm not gonna say that I've noticed any differences with this, but you know, let's see, it usually takes time. With everything else, I wasn't expecting to see results for um, three months. That's what my dermatologist said, that it takes three months to see results with anything new you do. But honestly, with the Paula's Choice, I started seeing results within days. So I'm really impressed. You guys know a few years ago, I tried Osmosis. Oh my God, I wanted to love that brand. I wanted to love that brand so badly because the I like what the owner of that brand stands for, the whole nutritional aspect of it and everything, but it did absolutely nothing. I spent over a thousand dollars on their stuff and I tried it for like six months, nothing happened. So that one was kind of like a mm, for me, but this is amazing. The other thing I wanted to share with you guys is I feel like the re one of the main reasons that I love my skin and that it hasn't, I haven't had any complications is because I eat a very good diet. Um, you guys know I don't eat sugar, barely any sugar in my diet on most days, unless it's like a rare birthday treat or something like that. I don't eat sugar, I eat a very low carb diet. The second thing is you guys know I have been doing intermittent fasting intentionally for eight years but pretty much my entire life because I don't eat breakfast. I, I can't stand the feeling of eating breakfast. So I fast anywhere from 16 to 80, 16 to 18 hours, and then I eat within a six to eight hour window. And that is amazing for overall health, weight man maintenance, skin. I've done tons of video of videos on that topic, so I'm not gonna get too much into it, but I can't say that these products are the only things for my skin. Like, I believe that skincare begins from the inside out. And because I've taken really, really good care of my body over the years that I've never really had any massive skincare issues. So, you know, I've been blessed and God's been good to me, um, but these products are really, really great. So I thought I would go ahead and share these with you. So everything is linked below for you. Let me share with you my outfit um, and we are, heading out for a little bit let me share this with you um so it's raining and i wanted to wear this bag with the outfit but it's raining and i just don't want to get this my um this is the the chanel black caviar medium so i don't know if i want this it to get wet this bag has gotten wet many times and just the way that this leather is it doesn't it's not really like affected by rain like i don't know it's just way more durable i don't think this looks the best with this outfit let me step back i've already shown you the clip i don't know but it does match my shoes it does match my shoes somewhat um i don't know let me put the whole thing together and show you guys how that looks i'm holding it wrong can you guys tell that these shoes actually squeak when you wear them so this is what the outfit looks like i 
think that I would have enjoyed wearing the black purse a lot more. And Irfan does always like drop me off at the door. So I might change it, but I just think this is kind of big and bulky for what we're about to go do today. <laughs> so, da -de -da. so that's the outfit. So we're at um, Restoration Hardware Houston and we're gonna go look at the cloud couch for the boys um, game room upstairs. It's gonna be like our family room movie night. So yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. And then so the whole thing is made from this, right? Hello beautiful. So I had to get rid of most of the audio at the store because the music was really really loud and I didn't want YouTube to flag my content. So yeah, we were just kind of hanging out and testing out the cloud couch in the different swatches and materials and things like that. And then after that we went to have a lovely dinner and dessert and hang out with our friends that we haven't seen in over a year. Uh, we really miss them. We used to hang out several times a month prior to the pandemic. So it was really nice to reconnect with them. And um, yeah, so after this, there isn't really any other um, footage because I was so excited to see them that I just totally forgot to vlog the footage. Here's the swatches for the color scheme that we're looking for. We're thinking of going with this one here because it's probably going to be the most forgiving. Um, the other ones... Um, we're okay too, but we took these three swatches home to make a decision. So thanks for watching. Bye.